Hey guys, this is Nitij and I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to explain the difference between call, apply and bind in JavaScript and how we can use them. So the thing is, every function when called has a scope and the scope of every function points to the, the, the calling context. So for an example, if a function has been called from the from the window or from the global scope then the scope of the function will always point to the window object but if the function is inside an object and it belongs to a property of the object then to invoke the function first we have to write the name of the object then the dot and then the name of the function to invoke it and in that scenario the scope of the function will point to its object but there are certain times when we have to reuse the same function implementation but for different scopes. For that scenarios or for, or for those purposes we can use call apply and bind and in this video I'm going to show you what is the difference between them. So let's first have some HTML. Now over here uh, we have an object which is named as object1. So I'm using the literal object notation to create it and there is a message property with the value this is object1. And let's have another object but with the name object2. Okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use call for object 1 and apply for object 2 but before that we need a function so that we can call it and the name of the function is call me with a couple of arguments which are named as arg1 and arg2 now in this function what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to log the value of this message property because I'm going to send in these objects as the value of the this keyword of of or the scope of this function and for that we need to use the this keyword because this always points to the calling context so this dot message and let's also have the values of the arguments which we are going to send in when we are when when we will be calling call and apply and bind so along with the arguments and then let's have the values of the arguments Okay, so we have the function. Now let's first use the call. And to do that, I'm simply going to first write call me and then dot call. Now the first argument is the scope. And for that, I'm going to use the object one as the scope of this call me function when we are calling it using using the call function. And then after that, let's also send the value of the arguments and the value is, I think, hello and world. Okay. Let's see. And let's hope that it will work. And yes. So now uh, this message is going, is logging on the console, which is first the value of the message property which is this is object one because we have sent the object one as the scope of this function so there's the message this is object one along with the arguments hello and world because we are we are also sending in the arguments and now let's get to use the apply now the syntax is of apply is also the same 
like call but there is a difference which is instead of sending in the arguments by separating them with a comma we need to send the arguments in an array so let's have some different arguments I think let's have them high there so now this message is being printed using this call and this message is getting printed using the supply so in the apply call or in the apply function call the message of object 2 is being printed along with the arguments which we have sent which are high and there so the message is this is object 2 along with the arguments high and there so it's easy right and I usually prefer call because call is very much uh, synonymous with the uh, meaning of a function call and we can also use apply in certain cases so let's say for example we want to find the max of an array then what we can do is we can simply call I think max math dot max along with the along with sending null as an argument and then the array which is actually we also have to put apply over here so apply accepts it its arguments in the form of comma separated values actually max I'm sorry max accepts arguments in the form of comma separated values but if you want to send in all the values of an array as comma separated values to the max function then we can simply call max dot apply and then we can directly send in, send in the array as an argument so the arrow items will get converted into comma separated arguments and yeah that's it that's one of the use of apply and another difference between call and apply could be that I think JavaScript functions have a specific length of arguments which we can provide but I'm, I'm I don't think that such limit applies to the elements of an array and yeah those were the differences now let's come to the bind now bind is my favorite because bind is so versatile it is so flexible and I'm sure that you will also fall in love with bind when you will discover its uses when we are dealing with the elements in an HTML page UI elements I'm, I'm referring to the UI elements like some anchor links or some buttons or some text fields etc now what bind does is to call the function using call and apply we always have to first write the name of the function then we have to write call then we have to provide the value of the argument this argument and then we have to provide the value of the arguments of the function itself but in bind what will happen is we can simply create a new function with a fixed scope out of the source function so now our source function is call me and I'm simply going to create a new function and the name of this function is call me delegate and this function is going to be created using call me dot bind and for the, this argument let's have another object and name it object 3 to distinguish between all the objects and that's it now let's also send some arguments let's use the same ones hello and world now this call me delegate is a function so we have to call it again in another statement and let's comment on this one for, for a while so now as you can see when I'm calling this call me delegate then I have not provided the value of the scope or the this keyword and I have also not given the value of the arguments the value of arg1 and arg2 is not there 
when I'm calling this call me delegate but as you can see the message is showing the value of the message property inside object 3 along with hello and world so this is kind of a fixed function which will always have fixed scope and fixed argument values and this is very useful when we are assigning events uh, or event delegates to any input on the UI because what will happen is we can we can reuse we can reuse the the functionality or the implementation of a, of a single function for different elements and we can create delegates out of the functions and then we can assign them or we can wire up the delegates with the with the events for example we can wire up a delegate with a click event with the with a mouse down event and so on so that was delegate okay so i'm done guys that was all about call apply and bind there are a number of different examples and scenarios in which they could be used and i think i i am going to cover them in a separate video i hope so so thank you for watching this video and thank you so much for listening to me for any questions or any suggestions or ideas for new videos you can use the comment section and thank you thank you for your time bye